Here's what you need to remember, despite some modern features, the ships were immature in design and had serious flaws some of which were detrimentally carried over to the battleships that followed the Kearsarge class, the US Navy's Kearsarge class was a small class, with just two hulls were completed. Despite the low number, the class was intended for greatness, but had some pretty serious design flaws. Good intentions, the Kearsarge class had some improvements compared to the battleships that preceded it, they were better armored, were faster, and had larger, faster firing guns arranged in a novel double-deck turret arrangement, but there were some serious design flaws that doomed the class. Because the gun turrets had vertical rather slanted walls, the 13-inch gun ports had to be particularly large to give the guns the necessary elevation for distance shots. While the large ports did give the guns the needed maneuverability, they left the turrets dangerously exposed. From the deck, the turret floors could be seen. A well-placed shot that managed to pass through the turret port would explode inside the turret, likely disabling the gun, and could even cause the magazine to explode, seriously compromising the ship's safety. Additionally, the 13-inch guns had to be returned to a slight 2 degrees of elevation in order to be reloaded, hampering their reload time. The 8-inch guns above the 13-inch guns also suffered from design issues. Along with the 13-inch main guns, they had been designed prior to smokeless powder and were intended to use brown powder propellant. With the introduction of smokeless powder, the volume of needed propellant per shot decreased, and the rate of fire correspondingly increased. Although an increase in fire would normally be positive, in actuality this meant that the 13- and 8-inch guns ran the danger of interfering with each other's shots.